it was time to play the flame stalker, so I broke my way out of the egg, and after a small amount of travel, at almost the perfect time, there was footsteps nearby. Bless us. This little dragon appeared to be already injured, probably from travelling and lack of food or water. But I was definitely not going to turn down a meal, not this early in the stages of growth, so I hunted him. Come here, you. Your lunch. Perfect. Well, that was handy because I needed you. I hung around the area and got some good growth in, but I didn't realise how many bugs this flame stalker would have to eat. So one after the other, I did. But eventually, I spotted another little dragon. There's a little dragon over there. Probably shouldn't, but I'm too hungry not to. And he hasn't seen me, so... I made a decision. I wasn't going to hunt no more bugs. Not for a while. I was going to kill and eat this dragon. Oh, he's, he's in trouble. Oh, I've got so many on him. Same size too. Maybe a little smaller? Let him bleed. Come on, how many? <laughs> how many do I need? God damn it. Oh, I'm hurting. God damn it. Let's die. I'm hungry. Oh, this is a battle to the death, alright. Oh, there we go. The circumstance was unfortunate, but in a game of survival, sometimes we do what we have to do in order to survive. I can eat while sitting down. Am I sitting down? Man, I'm so hungry. I'm sitting down, am I? Yeah, I'm sitting down and eating. That's different. And handy. I continued to eat until there was nothing left. And after that, I'd have to eat some mushrooms because it still was not enough. I'd make my way back to cover and keep my head low. I need to go get a drink. God damn, this thing needs to eat and drink a lot. Like an actual crazy amount. The amount of bugs you need to kill, man, just to stay alive is crazy. So around this little pond, I lived and hunted, killing bugs after bugs, but always cautious. But soon I'd have to break away from this small pond and look for bigger water resources, as I was too big to drink from it. Almost enough water. This is the worst spot, man, because if any dragons see me, they're going to kill me. I'm like so exposed out here. So let's get back up to the bush as fast as possible. I made my way back to where I was growing to use the cover of the forest to grow safely. So we've got a few more bugs appearing up here, so that's something. I'll just have to live off these bugs for now. Any more bugs? And again, you, you have got a scent too, so you know, you can smell. So you can pick up like um, bugs and mushrooms and water resources. I was getting very hungry, but I was lucky because the bugs were starting to respawn around me. I tried to take flight, but I wasn't ready. I'm not quite big enough to fly yet. I'm still a little while away from that. Got a few bugs over here. Mushroom. Good. This heat vision. This is pretty cool. I like it. It's gonna be handy for finding like little prey trying to hide from you. Yeah, it's pretty cool indeed. Here we go, we're flying. Beautiful. Finally, I'd spread my wings and leave the ground. In this game, so this is gonna take a bit to get used to again. I do remember it's a delicate dance though, like you gotta do it right. Otherwise you're just not gonna be flying properly. <laughs> that cool, we're up though. It was time to land though, because the sky is not a safe place for a small dragon. Now it was time to go back to growing, only to come out when I needed to eat. If I could find some food. I hit a tree, this was not good, and come plunging to the ground. It was a hard reminder. Yeah, if you're not careful, man, you'll do yourself. That's for sure. Look at that goddamn chat, man, nothing but clans. I was out and about exploring, getting bigger, but I decided I needed to eat. Took a dive and found some mushrooms. 
That's pretty cool. This was my first experience with dragon fire. That's going to take some getting used to. Make sure nothing's around. We look good. We look good. <laughs> terrible landing. Terrible landing. <laughs> I landed by a decent body of water. Ate the bugs, the mushrooms, and everything in the surroundings, and continued on. All right, cool. Let's get out of here. Really sick of living on mushrooms. So it's time to go hunt some juvies. The flying mechanics are great. See, it's doing it again. But they're... They're still, still a bit broken or something. Because it just randomly... Pulls up. There we go. It's like, what the hell? Why are you randomly pulling up on me? I'm not asking it to do that. Yeah. Yeah, flight mechanics. I could see, like, they're really good. They've got the really good idea in that, but they're still obviously incomplete. Because you, you can still never really have a smooth, complete run. I know some Dad Dragons diehard fans are probably going to really jump onto that and be like, No, it's perfect and you just suck. Yeah, I do suck, but it's not that. It's not exactly easy. But with some practice, yeah. I don't know. I'm just going to eat all these mushrooms, man. I'm getting a full stomach for once. Still not full. That's close enough. Something just biting at me. Little dragon. My guess is he didn't like the skin he had and he actually wanted to die. So of course, I'd oblige. Because a free meal's a free meal. I think he wanted to die. That's why he was biting at me. <laughs> but I always say no to a free meal. He's probably like a little blue SS. He's like, I hate the skin. That's cool. Quick snack, now I'm full. The morning light was coming up. I was resting, and I heard something in the distance. Hear that, god damn. That's awesome. Hopefully they're not near me. Oh no. <gasps> crap, crap, crap. Get in the sky, get in the sky. Acid spitter. Only just got out of there, man. But I'm out of stamina. Get to the cliff so he can't get to me. Dragon down there. I don't think he's with him. Nope. Oh my god, that was way too close. And he could still be tracking me. He could easily still be tracking me. As long as he knows how to get up the cliff. In the back of my mind, I knew that I only had so much time. See, I know from previous experience, once an acid spitter lands a couple of bites, your stamina pool is in real trouble. It's going to be drained and fast. But in this scenario, I had one advantage, the cliff, and I could use it to buy myself some more time. Stamina, just a little bit. Just a little bit. A little bit more. Alright, that's enough. Now let's get the hell out of there. You won't be able to track me very easily now. If at all. I should be. I should be reasonably quite safe now. That was so close though. That was... Uh, I'm not growing this thing a second time. This thing dies, man. I'm rage quitting. <laughs> oh, Alright, let's, let's just... Let's just rest. Recover. And forget about it. After gaining about 10% of my HP, I moved on. I didn't want to be tracked down by that acid spitter, or any other. I think there's water out here, so I'm sort of going for it. At least I thought there was water out here. Maybe all the way down here. The map's pretty big, really. Like, if you're on an acid spitter, it'll take you ages to get out of here. I'm really hoping there's some water out here, though. Pretty sure there is. And there's definitely no water just around here. Let's have a sniff and see if I can pick up any any mushrooms, bugs, or water. Nothing. Alright, alright. There's nothing out here. Let's go back inland a bit. I decided to go back to the regions that I knew because I was just simply too low on water and food to continue exploring. Wait a minute, is there food in this opening here? No mushrooms, you can really see them from quite a quite a distance, the old mushrooms. So there's none down there. Where is all the water? There's just got to be some mushrooms on the outside. There's always bugs and mushrooms up and down this river. 
so I landed, and for some unknown reason, I decided to broadcast. That actually sounded gnarly. Let's eat, let's eat. Because no doubt I just draw the attention of some acid spitters. Luckily, there's lots of bugs nowadays. Because I remember, like, they never used to be. They used to be only the bugs around the mounds and then they were real hard to catch. So, things have improved. There's a dragon up there. I'm not really out to hunt or kill anyone or do anything crazy. I'm just literally out to survive and see what it's like. That's my only real plan. Let's practice some of this taking off again. And then landing. So I'm just going to constantly keep practicing, man. Because the flying is very difficult. I'm not going to lie. Especially the more I play, I'll give it to it. But it should be. It's a bloody dragon game. It should be very difficult. There we go. So pretty much I'm going to just practice, like... Practice and practice and practice my flying. Excellent. I have selected my mutations. I am now set. Hey, I can drink there. Let's drink there. Perfect. I found a kind of hidden little pond. It was cool. I scoped it out. This is the sort of place you'd want to grow as an infant. Oh, there are so many mushrooms here. This would be a perfect spot for a juvie to grow. The Night Fury Dragon, man. It doesn't... <laughs> I just called it a Night Fury Dragon. Did you mean to? <laughs> anyway, it, um... It doesn't need to eat this much. Nowhere near. Take a look at that. I'm going to clear all these mushrooms out. What the hell? It hasn't even helped my hunger. I just eaten all these mushrooms, didn't even help me. Oh, is that because I'm sick, maybe? Let's go down here and have a look. Oh, did that help me? I think so. Let's, I didn't, I forgot to check. <laughs> Let's go back to sleep. I need to let the sickness fall, probably. God damn, man. God damn, I only got hungrier. <laughs> I'm immune to the mushrooms. Alright, so their sort of like diet system is actually quite good. It's quite good. It's getting better. It's like, you know, so you have to focus it, have to work it. A bit like Rima, Nile. Still don't think I'm going to bother trying to become an elder. I know that stuff's just like gang hardcore. That or you need to dedicate more time to the game. Anyone around? I was practicing my low flying altitude and I accidentally crashed into a tree. Great. I took some time for rest and when I was ready, I took off again. I like just patrolling this river. It's also good flight practice, that's for sure. Just getting better and better and better over time. I'm starting to feel it now. Anyone, anything up here? So you gotta really work with those mechanics. I left the cliff behind and decided to go out looking for a hunt. And at the same time, I wanted to try out my broadcasts now that I was an adult. Lots of practice to do. Because <laughs> imagine trying to do air combat. Shooting this fire, that's going to be pretty crazy. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be hopeless at this. Oh man, it sounds insane. What the hell is out here? This is all different. But what is that? What the hell am I looking at here? Can I eat it? Is it alive? Is it dead? It's definitely not moving. I got no idea what that's about. There was nothing in the marshlands. I went back to the river. Extremely hungry. I was lucky to come across this other small dragon. What the hell? 
broken mechanics in this game. <laughs> With only a few species available in this world, you hunt and kill whatever you have to to stay alive. And the flame stalker needs to eat a lot. <laughs> this little dragon was brave. He stood his ground and even fought back, but there was only so much that he could do. He wasn't quite big enough to fly yet. A little sub, but I gotta eat. Test the fire out, but seems useless. <laughs> there we go, we're having a fire battle. Sorry, little sub. Yes, I killed him, but he provided me with a meal for quite some time, and it wouldn't be long, and I'd need to eat again. I passed by a place, known to the clans as the daycare. Eating a different dragon? There was a solo dragon on the ground. It looked like he'd butchered a baby. This was the perfect opportunity for me to try fight one. Hello, hello, hello. How you doing? Let's stalk this man for a bit. Let's see where he goes. The dragon spotted me from a distance, and he was doing a broadcast. This could mean one of two things. He might be calling for backup. I gotta be careful just in case he is. Stamina. I continued to try to track him in the sky, but he was making good distance on me. I'm gonna try to chase him from a distance now. Save my stamina pool. He broke the rendering distance between me and him. I looked for him for a little bit, but I was just on the edge of giving up, and that's when I spotted him in the distance. Where the hell did he get away? There he is. He circled back around, and looked like he was going to land. I wasn't quite sure of his intentions, but I was all in at this point. He was broadcasting. I just crash landed. Oh, there's two. Oh, it's an elder two. Oh, clan. It was in this particular moment when I glanced back and realised I'd fallen into the perfect ambush and stood no chance on outflying an elder at high altitude with no stamina. My best chance was to fly low and hope that they'd crash into the tree line. That's the real question now. I'm just going to try like navigate real low to the tree line. That is about all I can do. <laughs> They're still on me, aren't they? Yeah, alright. Let's try to go lower. Oh, that one hit. Ouch. I'm probably gonna die like this. <laughs> well, that one was fighting that one. Possibly. Um, I'm, I'm in trouble. Oh, 
whole clan, man. Every time I play this game, just like the small dragons I killed previously, I was killed. But this is all part of the great circle of life. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and of course, I'll see you in the next adventure.